Hi there people. This is a video about a motor that I've taken out of a HP 2605 um, color laser printer. Now uh, this motor I originally thought was a stepper motor um, but it's actually a brushless DC motor. Uh, as you can see it doesn't cog the way uh, stepper motors normally do. Um, to control this motor um, you need to supply 24 volts to the bottom three pins and then ground the next three pins and then you've got uh, a pin for um, forward or reverse rotation and then you've got an ACK pin and a DEC pin. Now the DEC pin if you make it high the motor accelerates to full speed and the ACK pin um, is used to sort of free wheel the motor because normally um, if you make the deck pin high the motor runs at full speed if you make it low the motor stops I'll give you a demonstration in a minute and the MFG pin the top pin is the speed um, output Okay, I'll give you a quick demo. Uh, I'll, I'll, first I'll show you the test gear that I used to uh, work out the um, pinouts. Um, got a two channel oscilloscope and the trace um, showing on the screen there is from the speed pulse of the motor and then I also used the frequency generator and this uh, power supply here that's going to supply 24 volts to the motor and I've also got this power supply on the top which is going to supply um, power to my speed control board which I'll show you in a minute. Right, I'm going to power this up now. Oops. Okay, um, the motor's running at full speed there and without the motor controller connected that's what it will do so if I reduce the voltage you can see this motor slows down I'll put that back up to 24 Now, if you actually turn off the um, input to the deck pin, you'll see how quickly the motor stops. Okay, and by the way, the motor is a NIDEC and it's um, one of the 50M series. I'll put the number in the YouTube. Um, description and it's a 24 volt um, DC motor um, maximum current rated current 2.5 amps okay just let me plug this lead back in I'll leave that for a moment. Alright, um, now this circuit here is a little up amp circuit um, which basically regulates the speed of the motor. Um, we have a frequency to voltage circuit in there and some comparators. Okay, I've just adjusted the pot there, and the motor is now running closed loop, so it's actually regulating its um, speed, or that circuit is 
regulating the speed of the motor. As you can see, when I apply a bit of resistance to the motor, the current on the left of that um, power supply goes up, and you can actually see the um, the frequency staying quite constant. So that works really well. That works really well. One thing I'll demonstrate as well is that I'm going to drop the voltage and show that the motor will try and maintain its speed. That's cool, isn't it? So under 13 volts it's slowing down a bit. Now the other thing is, as I was saying before, um, with the Akin deck pin, well the, just the deck pin, if it's high the motor runs at full speed, if it's low it breaks the motor, so watch what happens when I adjust the speed down. See how it slows down immediately? And that's probably how you'd use the motor in, in a laser printer where you want to really govern the speed of the motor accurately. Now I'm going to connect the AC pin to the output of one of the op amps. Get that in there. Yeah, I've just connected that. Let's readjust this. Now you can see there like how the motors coast sl slightly instead of going directly to the speed that you set with the in pot. That sounds quite nice, isn't it? get it running quite slowly there. Okay, that's it. See you later.